It's one camp, but two very different worlds. And someone is stirring them up. But who will have the last laugh here on I'm a Celebrity? Get, Get me out of here! Hello, good morning, good evening. Welcome to Wednesday morning here in Australia and another helping of drama from the jungle where the big questions of the day are all about trust. Can you ever really trust celebrities? No. Can the rest of the camp trust Pat Sharp? No. Can Ant trust me, not to mention that weird rash he's developed? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Also, coming up tonight, Chrissy gets emotional. There's round three in the battle for immunity. Plus, there's a lot of bitching from a camp northerner called Anthony. You're not that camp. <laughs> Before all that, though, let's get back to yesterday morning and one of the residents of the Sin Bin. He's cute, he's less than a foot tall, and he flew here in Lorraine Chase's hand luggage. No, not Willie Carson. The big news down there is the controversy surrounding Tedward. And it's not over yet. There's a good reason he's not been on telly for... 10 years, cos he's a massive knob. So there you go. Fascinating, fascinating behaviour from Pat. And I think it presents us all with a genuine conundrum here. Was he, as claimed, behaving in a provocative manner merely to ensure that he garnered sufficient votes to win nutrition and sustenance for camp? Or is it simply the case, as Anthony has claimed, that he is... A massive knob. <laughs> yes. It is a, a, an intriguing debate. It's, it's, it's a political hot potato, whichever way you, you slice it, it. It is, it is. And while you ponder the vagaries of the particular situation, you may also wish to mull over the relative merits of our celebrities while switching a, an opinion <laughs> regarding the next trial of a bush took a variety. That's my tea! You knob. <laughs> Who dares to enter the Bushman's bungalow? <laughs> oh, the Bushman's bungalow. That's expensive. That looks good. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Now, we're not here tomorrow night because of the football. When we see on Thursday's show, you'll be voting to save your favourite celebrities, which means this is your last chance to vote for the trial. To send Anthony House Hunt in all I know one. Hey, please don't try to vote if you watch tonight. You're on plus one. Back to camp now, and as we've already heard, Pat Sharp had managed to hoodwink you, the great British public, into choosing him for a trial. Frankly, he made you look like a right bunch of fools. And now all he can do is sit back on your nice comfy sofa with a glass of wine while he gets covered in bugs, slime and critters. You must be feeling so stupid right now. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> Morning. Gentlemen, nice good to, to see, see you, you again. Again. Lovely to see you. How Long are time you? No see. Yes. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Yeah, I'm having a great time. You seem pretty happy to be down here, and you're pretty happy when we announced it was you to do the Bush Tucker trial. Why do you think you were chosen? I think I was probably chosen due to uh, Ted Woodgate. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's why the public voted for you, do you think? Yeah, I think so, probably. Now, it sounded like, when we revealed who was doing the trial, it sounded like you said something like, it worked. Yeah. What was that? And I thought, if I get a little bit more involved, rather than just, like, being Mr Nice Guy, like I am in real life, maybe somebody will pick on me. So, it seems that somebody's the public, so it's great. So it was all kind of premeditated, is that what you said? It saying? wasn't totally premeditated. Is part of it you want to be part of the show, or is it part of it that you really want to win food for camp because Sinita wasn't really performing as, as, as you wanted her to. I absolutely want to get a chance to win the food for camp. Twelve stars up for grabs. OK. Dead easy. Well... Well, it's not that easy, because the bush took a trial. <laughs> Welcome back. Thomas Lemley, get me out of here. It's 7.17 on Wednesday morning here in Australia. What a lovely day. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely Bit day. Bit of golf. Ta yeah, shall we? Mm -hmm. This afternoon? Yeah. Time for a quick request now. Yes, it's uh, it's this. Hi, guys, please, 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 can we see 80s DJ Pat Sharp go through a hideous and humiliating Boosh Tucker trial? That request comes from the whole of Great Britain. Well, great. It would be our pleasure. Keep those requests coming in. We really do love hearing from you guys. <laughs> well done. OK, That's stop it. the clock. Stop the clock. Hold it there. Well done, Pat. Both the stars. Yeah, thanks, Ant. Yeah, how, it was, how was it in there? It was tricky because the stars weren't moving, but then I got the rhythm of how it worked. In the end, it was OK, but I think I wasted a bit of time. Uh, Lizard's all right for you there? Lizard's good for me, Deck. Yeah. 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 No problem. Feeling good? I do. <laughs> I felt better. <laughs> how was that with all the flies and the moths? Uh, it's unpleasant. Everything's unpleasant, I tell you. You know, I wish Sunita was here. <laughs> but you're giving it all a good go. You're not mourning. No, oh, I've got to get on with it. Well done. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Well done. Thank well you. Well done. We'll get you out of there, Pat. Oh, no. Let's uh, stay. Are you sure? Come and join me, boys. <laughs>
Well done. Thank you. 11 stars out of a possible 12. Mm -hmm. Now, you said about Sunita and, and other people, don't moan, just get on and do it. Yeah. And that's exactly how you've it's, done it. It's tough, but you've got to do it, and the insects didn't bother me as much as trying to get the stars. That's what bothered me. Uh, how did you feel about the snakes in the last one? I didn't even see them, Dick. There they are, look. Oh, OK. Left-hand side. No, didn't notice them at all, because I was only looking at the stars. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe see? that's what... No, you know. Some other people have to do Whatever. Not. You've got to go for it, and I tried my best to get some meals for everybody. The lost meal, I'm going to give that to, uh, to Ted Wood. <laughs> to make amends. As a way yeah. of making up. Yeah, Ted, Wood, think, yeah. Ted Wood gets my meal. Good Lorraine's idea. happy. We're all friends again. It's going to be great. But you'll go back a camp hero. Well, I, I don't know about that. In all senses of the word. <laughs> I'm still the panto villain. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But that's what got me a shot. Are you going to keep yeah. that up? I'm not going to start thinking about it. I'm just going to carry on being me. Good. Fantastic. Well... Well done. Oh, you don't mind shaking. Well done. Thank I don't you, mind shaking. Thank you Congratulations. Thank you. Well you make done. your way back. Well done. Thanks very much, guys. Good news. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. See you, mate. Bye-bye. Eleven stars. And fantastic use of the word Burke there. You don't hear it enough these days, do you? Burke. Bring it back to Burke, I say. But, like him or not, Anthony Pat did get eleven stars, and it was a good trial. I enjoyed the trial. Although I didn't enjoy it as much as Ant. He loved it. He absolutely Loved it! <laughs> Loved that trial! All right. Yeah, how are you? All right? <laughs> yeah. Good. Glad you're here. We've got to do the phone numbers. OK. Yeah? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> the lines are still open for Bushman's Bungalow. Remember, we're not here tomorrow night. The next time we see you, you'll be voting for your favourite celebrities. This is your last chance to decide who does the trials. To vote for Anthony on an audible one. Please don't try and vote. Watch an ITV one plus one. Time for a quick break now, but we'll be right back in a few minutes with lots more jungle action. I, I, I'm a bit hungry. Can I have a biscuit? All right. You've got the duration of the commercial break to pick up as many biscuits as you can, starting now. Uh, oh, I've moved it. Uh, 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 See you after the break. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. The phone lines are still open. Remember, this is your last chance to vote for the trials. Yes. Now, so far, some people might say that Pat Sharp has been acting like a bit of a... What's the word I'm looking for? Burke. Burke. That's it. Bring Burke. back Burke. Bring, Bring back, back Burke. Burke. Uh, when it comes to motivating the rest of the blue team, let's just say he's got a funny way of doing it. Hey, listen. Be huh? happy. Wait, 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 wait. No. Wait, wait. No, no. Are you, are you cool? I'm very cool. You don't Watch. need any, any confident boost? No, no. You're happy? I'm happy. Are you cool? I'm cool. Are we cool? We're cool. Are we, are we cool with yeah. that? Yeah, I'm cool. The phone lines are still open. This is your last chance to vote for who does the trial. So, with their arguments, sorry, preparations complete. Both teams were ready for the third and final instalment of Beat the Bugs. After two straight defeats and two nights in the sin bin, the pressure was really on the Orange team to try and win the final game and restore some much-needed pride. And a, <laughs> an emotion charged. Edition of Beat the Bugs there. Fadam, I was in tears at the end. It doesn't matter with a man up, man. <laughs> That's, That's the... just ridiculous, that, yeah. isn't it? That's the end. At that. End. End now of Beat the Bugs. And after three days, it was 2 1 to the Blues. All of which means they're taking advantage into the final winner takes all immunity challenge. We'll reveal exactly what that is at the end of tonight's oh. show. The four lines are now closed. Please don't call as your vote won't count, but you may still be charged if you do. Harsh. Uh, back now, though, to the blue team, and in particular, Chrissy, and how she reacted to the sweet, sweet taste of defeat. Welcome back to my celebrity. Get me out of here. We're on our way down to the camp now to announce who you've chosen to do the trial. But first, back to last night, and after two days stuck in the sin bin, Anthony Cotton was finally back on chef duty, doing what he does best. Cooking. And morning. What's wrong with that? Because There's you're bringing us it. down as well it's when you do bringing, that. It's not bringing no, it's me not. down. Who said? Don't speak for everybody else okay. without asking Well, it's affecting me, then. Awkward. Awkward. Time to go in and tell them who's doing the trial. Come on in. Hi, everybody. A of applause. A ripple of applause. Thank you. Uh, you know what we're here? The public have been voting for the Bush Tucker trial. This one's called Bushman's Bungalow. Pat. Good. <laughs> Thanks again. Oh, Pat, we'll see you at the bush to the trial here yes. a little bit later. Have a good day, everybody. Yeah, see you, bye-bye. Yay! Thank you. Yeah. 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 They obviously yeah. like to see me rummage around the things, so I'm up for it, yeah, but... He's very happy, apparently. Uh, Pat is doing the trial, but all 12 of them are going to face another huge challenge. The battle for immunity is about to reach its climax as both teams go head-to-head -head and bed-to-bed. It's going to be good. 
That's it from us tonight. But Laura, Joe and Russell are standing by on ITV2 with Get Me Out of Here Now. Remember, we're not on here tomorrow we're night here. because of the football. We're back on Thursday, Thursday. at the earlier time of 8.30. 8.30. See you Thursday, 8.30. See we'll you then. See you then.